Yo, what is going on everybody? Cinematic, and today I have a topic that I want to talk about. Uh, I've seen something on Facebook. I've seen a lot of things like this here and there. And it's just a topic that I wanted to address. Alright, so, so it's a video about ramen noodles. And it's talking about the sodium and the monosodium glutamate. And how it can kill people. And I'm not really sure if it is, you know, deadly or whatever. I do know that if you take in too much sodium, it can't affect you or whatever, but uh, for those of you guys that don't know, monosodium glutamate is actually mostly known for uh, being put into uh, Chinese food. And um, yes, there is a high amount of sodium and monosodium glutamate in ramen noodles. And I'm not, I'm not saying that it isn't bad for you, but here's what the video that I seen was stating. It was stating that ramen noodles were targeted towards black people and um, that you would find the most ramen noodles in inner cities or urban areas. And, and I'm, not really, I'm not really saying that this is not true, that you won't find a lot of ramen noodles in inner cities and urban areas. The shit's cheap. The shit's like 12 cents a package. Um, I can tell you, a place that I would find a lot of ramen noodles at is in college i know a lot of college kids eat ramen noodles a lot of a lot of high school middle school i i look at it like this i eat ramen noodles here and there now and that's only because i burnt myself out on them as a youth when i was younger shit give me ramen noodles all day i'll eat those things my son eats them all day but the whole the whole discussion here is that people like to say that things are advertised and promoted and targeted towards African Americans, black people. I don't like saying African American because to me you're just American. I'm American, you're American, you might be black, I might be white, you might be Chinese, whatever. Uh, if you're born and raised in America or you're an American citizen, to me you're just an American. But that's a whole other topic, it's a whole other topic. So, here's the thing though. I really don't think that anything is advertised or promoted directly towards black people because I can go turn on the TV right now. I can tell you the only place that I personally know of that I can see a all black commercial is on certain channels like BET, which is supposed to be targeted towards black people, black entertainment television. Um... You know, a lot of people will debate that that the rest of America, the rest of American TV is is strictly white, but but white people don't have their own television station. Of course, if you go watch any other channel that is not, you know, BET, then yes, you're gonna see way more white people than black people in all those commercials. But what I'm getting at is the only the, okay, if I go to BET and I see a commercial and it's an all-black commercial, I can guarantee you there is a mixed or all-white or mostly white commercial of the same exact product, so therefore I do not believe that you could say that that was something strictly targeting black people. Because you can go to all the other channels and see the same kind of commercial with different kinds of people in it. Um, I've never seen a ramen noodle ad. Matter of fact, I tried to look them up and the only video ad I could find was from 1978. 1978 there was no black people in it it was just a white kid or whatever but what i'm getting at is people people need to get over this trying to say that things are being advertised or targeted towards black people because it is definitely not true actually you can go look up a bunch of studies where a lot of black people that are in the entertainment business are mad because they say that there aren't enough black people in commercials and, and i agree with them there's not there is no equal opportunity in commercials uh, the most, I would say, mixture of people you're going to see in commercials, what pops up in my mind automatically is McDonald's. They're an equal opportunity killer. They have terrible food. But yes, they promote that to blacks, whites, Chinese, whoever. Because they don't give a fuck. They want everybody to buy their stuff. And they know that their commercials reach a lot of people. Um, but I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you do you know of anything that you think is directly promoted or advertised towards black people or any other race? Like one race specifically. Advertised as something that one type of person should, should buy or whatever. And especially if it's something that's supposedly bad or, you know, could kill you or whatever. 
And, and I do know there's one other thing that people said that menthol cigarettes were promoted towards black people. And I don't even really believe that. I do believe there are more black people that smoke menthol cigarettes. I smoke menthol cigarettes. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to quit smoking soon, though. But um, I don't think that it's advertised or promoted towards black people. I think that there are just more black people that smoke those cigarettes. So, of course, it's going to be associated with black people. Um, but that doesn't always make it something that is true, like, oh, all black people. I know plenty of black people that don't smoke, that smoke cigarettes that do not smoke menthols. And damn it, I'm running out of time. But I was also going to say, does that mean that since 50 Cent owns a vitamin water, that therefore he is targeting just black people? No, that is definitely not true. Just because he is black does not mean that everything that he is putting out is promoted towards black people. That would be silly. He wants to promote to everyone. And I don't know. If you like the video, drop a like, share it, whatever. I'm out. Peace.